How to sell NFTs for beginners OpenSea NFT Marketplace Tutorial Hi guys, today I will be showing you around OpenSea how you can actually sell NFTs to OpenSea. OpenSea is an amazing NFT marketplace where you can create, sell and buy NFTs. So let's get started. Now OpenSea is just simple as I told you, you can just simply say it's an eBay for NFT where you actually create and buy and sell your NFTs. So I'm going to teach you how to sell NFTs to OpenSea. OpenSea is an amazing platform to start from. So it is very beginners friendly. So first of all, so in order to buy, create or sell NFTs, we will require our crypto wallet. So there are many crypto wallets out there, many websites that provide it, but I suggest MetaMask because MetaMask is super simple and super easy. All you have to do is just go to MetaMask.com and log in with your Google account and just put on some information, just your password and you will get your own crypto wallet right here. So this is what the crypto wallet looks like right now. It has zero Ethereum and then you can actually deposit your funds right here. I have not yet deposited anything, but you can just simply go ahead and do that right here. This is what the main net is from where we know it's Ethereum. So it's so simple, you have your crypto wallet. So once you have your crypto wallet, you will come to OpenSea and you will see this option of create. I will click on create. Now I will have to sign up with my crypto wallet, which is MetaMask. So I'm going to sign in. Great. You can see right here, they're asking for my permission to sign in. Just simply click on sign in. So once your wallet is connected right here, you will be able to see your wallet right here. And once your wallet is connected, you are good to go. And you have created your account right here on OpenSea. So right here, I can change banner. I can change this image. I can customize my name this remains same so this is what OpenSea profile is you can see right here this is where my collectibles will come this is where my created will come where I have what I have actually created and then if you have marked something as favorite or if anything is marked as hidden it will be shown right here so let's create an NFT and sell on OpenSea all you have to do is click on create. Once you click on create, you will land on this page right here where we will be able to create a new item. So the item could be image, video, audio or any 3D model. And the file type should be JPG, PNG, GIF, MP4 and many others. The maximum size is 40 MB. Great. So here I will be able to add any of my artwork, any of my model, audio or video, whatever your NFT is, just simply click right here and choose from your device. So I will click on this one right here. So I have selected this graphic design that I created. It's just very random design and I will be selling this NFT. You can select whatever you want to. And if I want to change it, I will simply click on change and it will allow me to change it to whatever I want to. After that, we'll have to give it a name. I'm going with crypto food very randomly. And then external link. If you have a web page or you are working with a project or whatever, you can just simply go ahead and add any external link you want to. I do not have any external link right now because we're just beginners and we will just simply leave it. After that, you'll have to add the description. Description could be anything. So I'm just going with food. Once you have added your description right here, the next option is select collection. So this is where I will select my collection. If I have a lot of items on OpenSea or even one, they call it collections and I can actually, you know, add different NFTs into one collection. For now, I am not going to select any collection and yeah, you can just simply leave it after. But if you do have collections, then go ahead and choose. After that, there is an option for properties. Now in properties, I can actually create as many properties I want to for different NFTs. For example, I can just call it. So you can see right here that I have very randomly created these properties and I will save them. But let me actually show you what properties look like. Let's go to CryptoPunk, one of the most famous projects on OpenSea. So right here, you can see 
this is where the properties will be if they are hidden you'll just have to click right here so properties are like you can see right here they have a lot of items and they have a lot of collections so they have created these properties that help them organize their nfts and then will help the buyer to find particular nfts easily so they have created these different properties and you can actually go ahead and do that as well so this is what the properties look like we'll go to our so i have created these properties after that there's an option for levels now levels is for gaming mostly but you can just you know simply create levels to whatever you want to simply click right here and create level add more if you want to no then we can just simply save it after that there is an option for stats this is what the stats look like right here you will be able to show your stats right here on your nft so i'm just gonna leave it for now or if i want to add you'll just simply click right here again give it a name and add value it could be any whatever you want to if you want to add more click here if not then simply save it once i do that you will see that i have added all of these details next option is unlockable content now this is interesting unlockable content means that you can actually add content that is actually called unlockable content and it can be seen right here this one actually do not have it but if it had it would be written right here that unlockable content so it simply means that you can add anything you want to in that content it could be a video it could be different documents or links or whatever you want it to be discord links your web page links or even you can add your email right here if you want to sell your art in real life also like you're selling the nft but if you are an artist it also happens that you can sell those things in reality also so you can actually add anything in here right in unlockable content and the buyer can actually contact you directly so that's amazing if you want to do that you can just simply add it right here next is explicit and sensitive content of course if it says sensitive content i will just simply click on guess but it's not so i'm gonna leave it after that supply now the number of copies that can be minted that's actually a thing if i have more than one copies of this nft i want more than one copies of this nft to be minted i will just increase it to whatever number i have for example i can do it to like five or ten whatever but i want it to be just one so i will keep it to one after that blockchain now that's your choice it has two options ethereum and polygon now on ethereum we know ethereum is definitely what most of people will be using your wallet is ethereum the blockchain could be polygon as well and the good thing about polygon is that it is a gas free blockchain experience that works with ethereum so if you want your nft to be on polygon then that's actually amazing then you don't have to pay the the buyers don't have to pay the gas fee so if you want a gas free experience then go ahead and choose polygon and if you want it to be you know on many then definitely go ahead with ethereum so i will go with polygon right here after that there is another option that if you want to lock your nft permanently or not i'm gonna just leave it right here so after that click on create so yeah guys you can see right here they're saying it's a success and it's just taking a little time to load and then i will be able to show my nft so yeah guys you can see right here these are the nfts that i have created and once an nft is created this is what it looks like right here and if you want the buyers will you know actually can buy it and yeah this is so simple and yes on most of the platforms when you mint your nft you have to pay the transaction fee as well and it's so simple actually to create an nft on OpenSea. and you if you go to my profile right here these are the nfts that i just created in front of you so it was so easy and this way you can create 
many as many nfts as you want to and if somebody will buy it then i think that's amazing and you will become rich so yeah i think this is it for the beginners tutorial for open c i hope that i was a big help to you and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel